the true reason to be impressed with this guy lays in his incredible control of his voice in basically every range there is. Hello, hello guys, and either welcome back to my channel or welcome in in case you're new. Hi, my name is Lundi, I am a huge BTS fan and usually I do K-pop reactions and try to check out other groups in K-pop that I'm not yet that familiar with and broaden my K-pop horizons. But today we're actually gonna be doing something different, something not K-pop related for once. A lovely viewer of my EXO reactions actually asked me if I could react to, and I do hope I'm not gonna be messing that up now, to Dimash? I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but yeah, they asked me if I could react to him for once, and I am just gonna be warning you right now, I am jumping in here completely blind. I have no clue. I don't know where this person is from. From the name, I would guess somewhere east from where I am. I'm German, by the way. Hi. So I would guess somewhere, I don't want to say Russian, but somewhere in that region, probably. But I'm jumping in here completely blind. I don't know who this person is. I'm guessing it's a man because the name sounds kind of male, but I don't, I don't even know that. I have like no clue what to expect, but that's honestly for me the joy of reactions. I really, really love watching reactions when people jump in somewhere completely blind, so I'm gonna offer that to you guys today, so I'm jumping in here completely blind. All I know is that this is a person, I think it's a person, from the way that the viewer worded it, I'm pretty sure it's a person and not a group, but yeah, I just know that there's a person that exists that has this name and that a viewer of mine would like to see me react to, so that's all I know. I'm completely blind and I am just gonna be jumping in right now. Let's go. Alrighty mighty, here I am again. I do hope I've got the right video. So according to the request, I chose the Gaku performance. I hope I'm saying that right as well. And I type in unforgettable day and I hope that this translates to unforgettable day because I don't know. <laughs> All right, so usually I always kind of state my expectations for a song, but it's kind of hard to say right now when I'm reacting to something where I don't even, like, I don't even know the genre. Usually I at least know it's K-pop, but today I just know it's not K-pop and that's all I know. So um, what do I expect today? This is a live performance. So usually live performances are either something really heartbreaking or something really full of energy, but something that is impressive in some way. And I suppose it is gonna be impressive in some way because otherwise it would have not been recommended. So the song is called Unforgettable Day. I'm just gonna put my expectations towards that this is something vocally outstanding. So probably something on the sadder and more ballady side with a focus on vocals. That's just where I'm gonna place myself because I would expect it to be something very impressive for it to come up in a completely unrelated sense in a K-pop reaction to be recommended this. So yeah, I am expecting this to be vocally impressive. And of course, I'm just gonna state here again, I'm no pro when it comes to vocals. I cannot sing for the life of me, but my reactions are always very honest. So I'm just gonna say what comes to my mind off the top of my head. And yeah, I'm just gonna let you know what I think and feel while watching this. And I would say, let us go. Oh yeah, sad. That does sound sad. I 
Oh, it's the kind of song where I feel really bad about interrupting, but I just always have that many thoughts in my head. And if I don't say them really soon after they came up, I will forget them. So as for my first impression, yes, it's a guy. He seems very popular and it is a sad song and I just have to say it here in case I haven't said it before. I usually tend to like high energy songs way more than sad songs. Usually I don't really like sad songs. I'll just say that straight out. I rarely ever like sad songs but in my reactions I always make sure to state my mind both objectively and subjectively so I both say what I feel and what my opinion is but also of course objectively if I think something is good or not and so far I I can say I really like the tone of his voice. It's kind of hard to follow for me because I don't speak the language and that's weird coming from someone that reacts to K-pop but I know the way that Korean sounds usually because I also study Korean so I'm a bit more familiar with like the patterns of Korean whereas here I'm not even sure which language it is. I sound so uneducated <laughs> but I'm not really sure what language it is so it is a little bit harder to follow for me. But I do enjoy the tone of his voice so far and I'm excited to see where it's going. Like so far it's nothing that I would listen to in my free time. Are other people singing along too? Because I was suddenly, it sounded like there was a lot of voices singing. Probably the audience is singing along because I was suddenly like, wait, there's numerous voices, but only one person. Oh man, they love him. Ah, I really enjoyed that part just now. That sounded very nice. Okay, now there are several people singing for sure. <laughs> Expecting that switch up just now. very charismatic. I know it has nothing to do with his vocals, but that just kind of stuck out to me just now. And he's enjoying himself on stage. I like that. <laughs> I need better headphones <laughs> like yesterday. <laughs> oh. 
All right, go off. sound right now? Wait, no. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. All right. I have a lot to say about this and I don't know if you're gonna be expecting it. I mean, my face is usually a pretty open book, so you probably will expect it. But anyways, I have a lot of things to say about this in really every direction. So I would say let's go into the big screen and let's talk about what I think about this. Yeah. All right, this was an experience. This really was an experience and it was unexpected even though I expected to be impressed, which is really interesting. In the first minute or so, I was like, yeah, he objectively has a good voice and it's nice. I'm not impressed. It's nice, but I wasn't like, I don't know, falling off my chair or something. Also, I'm not really into the slower type of music, as you guys know, so I was like, it's nice, yeah. And then, I don't think I have to tell you guys which part came on, like Danny suddenly started to switch it up more and more and I realized that this is not a case of he has an impressive voice in like his tone, like his one tone that he's singing in and he's just the best at that. But I realized that the true talent and the true reason to be impressed with this guy lays in his incredible control of his his voice in basically every range there is. He went all over the place. He went low, he went high, he went loud, he went quiet, whispering, I don't want to say shouting, but really, really powerful singing. <laughs> he was all over the place and I'm really lacking the proper vocabulary to state this in English or also in German because I'm not an educated musical professional, but this was really outstanding and incredibly impressive, I have to say. Something I've definitely never heard before. Now, did I like it? That's actually a big question mark. This is nothing I would usually listen to. This is nothing I would put on my playlist usually. It was incredibly impressive. There were moments where I was actually like, is his microphone malfunctioning or is that his voice still? That like really, really, really high pitched sound that he made where I was like, can a human voice do that? Wow, this was incredibly, incredibly impressive and outstanding and an absolute experience to watch. Now my favorite part actually, like subjectively, was probably the end that just hit my personal taste the best. He's had numerous parts in this video where I really enjoyed it and there were numerous parts where I was really impressed but at the same time, would I be listening to it in my free time? Most likely not. But I can definitely say I was hella impressed. I feel like I'm talking way too much about this but I'm having, I, I'm really having trouble to articulate what I feel about this because I feel a lot of things and I'm really impressed and I think I should send that to my parents. But yeah, this was really fun. Thank you so much for the recommendation. That was very, very interesting and I would love to know more about that guy, to be honest. Like where he came from, if he's like trained or if he just like jumped out of the room and was like, I am gonna do everything with my voice, everything a human can do and everything a human can't do. Because damn, that was all over the place. <laughs> All right, I think I made it pretty clear that I'm a little bit speechless. I know that was a lot of words to convey that I'm speechless, but I'm like, I don't really know what to say. I'm very impressed. In the beginning, honestly, I was like, yeah, that's nice, but I don't really know what to say about it because it's not quite my type of music. And I'm also not super impressed. And then he just went in there and just like smashed me in the face. And I was like, okay, well now I'm impressed. So I'm gonna just wrap this up with, I'm very impressed. This was 
is very interesting, very cool. That guy has a hell of control over his voice. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know this was a little bit different, but do feel free to recommend me other things apart from K-pop as well, of course. I'm very, very interested in reacting to whatever because I love watching reaction content to anything, really. <laughs> and of course, that kind of content only happens when people recommend things. So do feel free to recommend me more things that you would be interested in seeing me react to. And thank you so much for spending your time with me and watching today's video. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Please feel free to subscribe if you liked my content and of course drop a comment down below if you liked it extra much. Also feel free to follow me on my other social media channels in case you want to see more of me. I would be very happy to welcome you there. I also have a Twitter, a Twitch, an Instagram and a Patreon so feel free to follow me wherever you want and interact with me if you want to. See you guys there. Bye bye.